All right, Derek, tell me a little bit about where you're from. Oh, I'm from Prattville, Alabama, a little small city. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm from. What was it like growing up in such a small town? Uh, everybody's close around there. Everybody knows everybody. Uh, it's a real close-knit community, so it's a, it's a big family environment. Uh, and so coming here, it's kind of a small town vibe too. Have you enjoyed time in Regina with that element or is it, it does it almost even feel bigger than back home? No, it feels exactly the same for me. Uh, it's a very small city, uh, not too big. Um, so it reminds me much of home. Uh, so when you are not playing, you probably get back home quite a bit. Do you have pretty close family out there? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm very, I'm very close with my family. Uh, that's a big thing for me. Um, but I don't get back, I don't get back that much, mm -hmm. but as much as I can, I try to, so. Yeah. Uh, so w tell me about your parents. I know that they're a big part of right. uh, when you play. You're, you're um, really thinking of them a lot. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, That's my motivation. Um, they uh, made a lot of sacrifices for me coming up. So, you know, I just want to represent them every time I'm on the field. I know that sometimes parents <clears throat> can be kind of your toughest trainers when you're in, in sports. Was that kind of <laughs> your experience? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My dad coming up, uh, me and my two brothers, uh, he trained us um, growing up for football, and my mom, she was the number one cheerleader. I can hear her in the stands. <laughs> what kind of training would your dad take you on? Oh, man, just uh, just showing me, like, uh, the fundamentals of football, how to carry a ball, um, how to run properly, uh, really everything. Is there a training session that just sticks out in your mind of, like, that was intense? <laughs> if I drop a ball, I have to run down because my grandmother stayed on the railroad tracks. So it was like a dirt road. So if I drop a ball, I had to take a job. So I dropped a lot of balls sometimes. So, you know, it was extra motivation to catch that ball. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so when you're not playing and you're at home, what kind of things do you like to do outside of the game? Uh, I like to read a little bit. I read books. Um, and I watch a little Netflix sometimes. But I'm really a homebody, so I just like really to relax and watch film and stuff like that. What's your go-to Netflix show right now? Go-to Netflix show. There's I a like, lot of good ones. I like Ozark, so I'm waiting for season two to come. So I'm, I'm very, <laughs> I'm very well. Something to look forward to. Sure. Uh, so before you get into the game, do you have any kind of rituals you like to, to do every day? Uh, before the game, I kind of just, I'm in my quiet place. Uh, I bump a little music, you know. Uh, what sorts of things do you listen to? Um, I listen to, I like, I like trap music. I like Young Jeezy, uh, Gucci Man. I like all those guys. So, uh, you know, that's what I do. You've been here for a couple of years now. So, so what do you what do you think about Regina and the Rough Riders and kind of playing in this, uh, this <laughs> this community because it really is a community. Oh yes, yeah, football for Neg. I love that. Um, I'm from Alabama, so uh, you know it's big on football down there. Um, so, it's, it's, it just reminds me of home, and I love the environment. Reminds you of home a little bit, but probably not weather wise. How is the how is the cold <laughs> games gone? <laughs> Man, cold. <laughs> Coldest game last year. Winnipeg was crazy. So. Oh. Man, it was blistering cold out there. And you mentioned your dad got a kind of a chance to to, to yeah. experience that too. Yeah, he did. He did. He said it was cold, old man, but he enjoyed the moment, and uh, hopefully we can make it happen this year. All right. Well, before we let you go, we've been asking some of the players something that fans don't know about them. What is something that fans don't know about you? I'm really a silly person. I like to joke around with my teammates all the time. I got a little. I'm a little comical, so. You're yeah. you're the prankster. Well, sometimes, sometimes if I'm feeling it in the morning times, I like to joke around a little bit. <laughs> well, there you go. Lighten the mood and keep everyone. Uh, keep the energy up. Thank you so much for this, Derek. Uh -huh, thank you.